So you clicked on this video because you're a total newbie in township, lost in the spawn. Start by gathering two stones and one rock and a flint. We're going to use these to make the basic tools that will walk you through this tutorial. Once you crafted your basic tools, it's time to explore township. Along the way you'll find a lot of maps that will indicate where you are in the world. <laughs> also, you will run into a lot of books scattered around the world that will teach you different kind of stuff. For example, this book teaches you about woodcutting. Now you can use this information to become a lumberjack. Now as much effort as it takes to cut down trees, it's also a very rewarding experience. You gather a lot of wood that you can use for trading or any other profession. And since wood cutting by itself doesn't need a lot of explanation, I advise you to just go out in the world and try it yourself. And in the forest there are also trees that mm, don't like to get cut down. Now my advice is to avoid them for now, because you'll find yourself running quite quickly. A township tale has a fully functioning day and night cycle. As much as I like playing during the day, the night also has its benefits. These hard plants are easily spotted in the dark. What they do I'll leave up to you to find out. Nice. Now, as the experienced lumberjack that you are, you obviously collected tons of wood and you can start visiting the carpenter's building. You can make all sorts of wooden items with carpeting, ranging from handles, shields to even bowls and spoons. Equipped with a workbench and a closet for community purposes, the carpenter can be a pretty crowded place. Everyone out of the room, please. We need ah. to make footage. <laughs> Everyone out, okay. out, please, please. I just go up. Okay, I just go, go, go out. I just go up. I just go out the room. I just go up. Now, as you enter the carpenter, the first thing you'll notice is another book. In this book are the recipes for all the wooden items you can make in a carpenter. And because trees tend to get a little aggressive, we're gonna make a sword handle. Now simply start by putting the recipe into the metal frame located at the workbench. Supply the workbench with wood as indicated on the recipe itself. The frame will start glowing blue and you know which pieces to cut out. Now try to cut out the pieces that are highlighted blue. Try not to miss too much and cut off other pieces than the highlighted blue one. Because this will ruin your entire progress. Now as you come close to the end of the project, you notice no more blue highlights are present. You can now start chiseling off random pieces of wood until your project is done. And there you go, you finished your first handle. And now I'm going to teach you a fraction of blacksmithing and mining. But to start mining, we need to go deep inside the cave, where all the ore and best loot is found. Now you can try to go in the cave without light. But you'll soon notice it gets a little bit too dark. So just reverse for a second and listen. We need some light. Yeah. So the first thing you do when you're gonna make light just collect a little bit of grass and it's what hell who's that dude ow. who's that what? ow ow photo bomb another important thing to know bomb. is that there's pvp in the game ow. <laughs> but try to keep it on the pvp server as i was saying sticks and dry glass with these materials you can start making your first torch and since you already got the wood that we need, you might as well make your first fire. No, normally not. And there we go. Isn't that cozy and warm and all? Just light your fire and go into the cave. But before you do that, 
you should know that there's also random tools scattered around the world. They look rusty, but they're pretty functional. Now put all your fears you have for the dark aside, and let's go into the cave, shall we? Now in the cave you can find multiple things, just like this wooden structure. The boxes on the structure contain a wide variety of loot. You could also find molds, weapons, tools, potions and other things. On top of the boxes you also have chests. And worms that try to kill you. I still advise just to avoid them and focus your attention on the copper ore we're trying to get. Just simply start swinging your pickaxe at the copper ore until it breaks. When it breaks you can start collecting the ore and put it in your belt. When the light dies out, these bugs appear. You can shake them around in order to get some light going. There's also other ways to do it, but for the sake of these little creatures, I won't tell you. It's also important to get someone with you that has a teleport potion on them to teleport back to the spawn. Or if you're lucky enough, have one yourself. You can always refill the teleport potion at the teleport shrine. And if you want to know where that is, you better ask someone nicely. Ah, the sweet smell of steel. The blacksmith, where you craft your first sword, your first whatever, it's just awesome. Equipped with the furnace that is able to melt your ore into bars or make molds into casts. And in order to start doing that, you gotta check if there's wood in the furnace, if the furnace is even lit, and if the furnace has enough air to start burning. Now congratulations cowboy, you made your first bars. But please mind, this is a community game. If you make a mess of the place, the community will. Take note. Now blacksmithing in this game is as fun as blacksmithing should be. You can clearly see which parts of the weapon still need work. If you see white circles coming off of the blade, it's done. Uh, sword. Now assembling weapons is as easy as 1 and 2, but there's a shit ton of 1 and 2s. And you must be willing to learn them. If you're not that much of a learner, you can always undo your mistakes with this little workbench found at the blacksmith and the carpenter by hitting them with a hammer and a chisel. You can also just throw your mistakes in this recycler. It will melt it back into bars, but you'll lose bars in the progress. Just simply yeet an item inside of it and burn it to the gr uh, and burn it and then you'll receive the bars in this slot. And now we're moving on to the most underappreciated profession of them all. Cooking. Multiple kind of ingredients can be found scattered around the world that can be eaten raw or be cooked. The biggest supply of food and cooking supplies can be found around these camps. Nobody is sure what inhibits these camps, but I'm pretty sure it's not this guy. Ah! 
The reason these camps are interesting is because of their crates. These crates contain a lot of food items. To see what's inside of them, you simply destroy the crates and then proceed to loot what's inside. And then, when you gathered enough stuff, you can start cooking. Now, to show you how useful cooking can be, we're gonna brew up a strength potion. Some raw ingredients can be cooked next to the fire. And as soon as they're done, they can serve as a different kind of ingredient for your food. What's that? Now take it and cut it with the flint. Now, as you remember your recipe, you can make your cooking whenever you want. Now we need one piece of meat. One piece of eggplant. Where you can find these recipes, I will show you later. Two pieces of blueberry. Now we need to wait. Now you can use a bottle of any kind to just put the liquid in. You can even use a bowl. Now as you can see, he obtained a buff. And I wanted that too. Now instead of drinking out like a savage, the kettle also serves for head protection. <laughs> Great. Look back. And now we will show you a less popular form of cooking. We'll brew up a nice poison for a little default dancer. I'm recording here. tutorial. Epic. So, new tutorial, v very basic, very basic, all professions. All professions. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Now if you follow the recipe correctly, you should have some poison. I'm not going to reveal the recipe, for harassment's sake. Now as you progress through your professions, you'll also notice that you level up once in a while. To check on these skills, you'll have to find a shrine dedicated to your profession. As example, we'll show you the mining one. Just start by putting your hand on the seal and it will reveal for you a skill tree. These skills can be previewed by simply taking them out of the skill tree. A hologram will appear for you to test out the skill and see if you like it enough to take it. But to get a skill, you'll first need to level up and fill the meter that is shown right here. Once you're satisfied okay. with your choice of skill, you just simply take it out of the skill tree and put it in. Good. You can also do it in reverse and unlearn the skill. This will cost you some experience though. Now to check your total progress of every profession you have, you can go visit the skill shrine. This shrine is located somewhere near the town hall. So right now you know enough to explore the world of township and just Know the basics without having to bother everyone for it. But don't be afraid to ask people, because it's Township Tale after all, and it's the most social community I ever met in my life. In a game that wasn't toxic. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video after all. 
it doesn't cover all points, but don't be afraid to ask in the comments down below if you have questions. So I'll see you in the next video and leave a like if you liked it and leave a dislike if you're a 